What are the GI control stakes? First of all, there is a request for quality, typicity of the product and origin of the product. There is the guarantee of the truth. It means precise information on qualities, specificities of the product, also the origin of the product. There is also a commitment of credibility. It means an official guarantee of quality, origin of the product or its authenticity. What are the objectives of the GI controls? First of all, we need to implement impartial and objective controls. It will be the assurance for consumers that the product covered by the GI has specific characteristic, quality and origin. Also, it will give producers or group of producers a sense of responsibility. GI's control can be considered as a profit also by a value-added product for the producers on the national and the international markets. The GI's controls rely on different aspects. First of all, they rely on the origin of the product. It means the traceability and the respect of uh, the production chain. They rely also on the respect of the specifications and the production conditions. Also, there is a guarantee on the product and its specificities or characteristics or quality. Some basic principles. First of all, this is the group of producers that has the lead in the process of setting the parameters of the GIS controls. Secondly, you need to be aware that controls or certification organism will provide a service. So they don't have to force the producer to do something. The cost of participating in the GI scheme must also fit with the stakeholder budget. And this is an important point. You need to be aware that controls are a tool for the valorization strategy, not necessarily a marketing tool. So you need to think that you need to avoid a marketing or labeling with multi-logo, including the logos of certification bodies. Why? Because GI logos should be considered as more important than the logos of certification bodies. In this slide, you have an illustration of multi-logo and multi-certification. Do you think that consumers are able to identify the true method and the true identity of the product? Speaking about the control plan. Normally, there is one control plan for each product and each geographical indication. This control plan shall be approved by the group of producers and or a competent authority. How can we translate specifications into control plan? We will take firstly the product description and the process of production. We will identify the actors to be controlled that are involved in the process of production. And we need to summarize all of these key points to be controlled or checked by the control body. So be careful because overloaded specification will mean a high level of key points and high level of costs. The content of control plan. In the control plan, you need to integrate different aspects. First of all, you need to define the control methods. Then you need to define also the frequencies of the controls. How many producers will be controlled and how many times a year. You need to define also the sanctions implemented for all the producers group. You need also to mention, if any, the use of official laboratories and if they need to be accredited. And also you can define the panel testing. Writing specification, this is a necessary sorting. You need the census of all on what the product means. So you need to sort between all the elements that can be taken into account. The regulation, the citizenship, the prohibition, the know-how, the specificities, etc., etc. But you need to avoid some specific elements. You need to avoid all subjective elements, like my product is the best because it means nothing. You need also to avoid some minor elements that 
will give no added value to the product and the specifications. You need also to avoid what is not controllable. All uncontrollable elements shall not be integrated inside the control plan. And you need also to make a balance be because the control plan shall be economically feasible. So, the product specification shall be credible and the control plan shall be also economically viable. What are the links between specifications and control plan? Specification shall be specific, concrete and pragmatic. Specification shall not contain at all subjective elements, as we just said before, because each statement will become a checkpoint. And the specification should allow a clear identification of the control plan and the control methods and the frequencies.